What up fam? Today we're gonna learn how to sew leather with a standard sewing machine. Stay tuned. So if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know we do a lot of leather projects here. And so far, all of them have been hand sewn because I want it's the only thing I know how to do and two, I don't have like an industrial sewing machine. But then I ran across an article that shows how I can just use my standard sewing machine here to actually sew leather. And I just figured you'd probably wanna know how to do this too. Okay, so the sewing machine I'm using here is the Singer Simple, though you can use whatever home sewing machine you have. So the first bit I want to address is the kind of thread that you need to use for leather. Because of how thick and tough leather is and the kind of stress that's usually put on the seams, regular thread just will not hold up. Instead, you're going to want to pick up either like a heavy-duty all-purpose thread or an upholstery thread. To demonstrate the difference, here's some regular thread tied to a five-pound weight. If I let it go, it breaks right away. And here's the heavy-duty thread. Check that out, so strong. Now, because this thread is a little bit thicker, you're gonna be getting less on a bobbin, so make sure you plan your project accordingly. Oh, also, with hand stitching, you want to use a wax thread, but you do not want to use it with a sewing machine. It's gonna have trouble feeding through the needle, the wax is gonna get all on the internals and just completely mess everything up. All right, the next thing we need to make this work are leather-specific sewing needles for your machine. Unlike regular sewing needles, which have kind of a blunted point on the end, these have more of a spear-shaped point designed for piercing through thicker materials. This is because with regular sewing needles, they're designed to actually go between the weave of the fabric, not really making new holes. These ones are gonna pierce a hole into your leather, so make sure that you're doing everything as well as you can because there is no going back. You're going to have a hole in the leather when you're done. This is definitely something you wanna try in some scrap first before you attack your expensive project. Speaking of which, because when you pierce holes in leather, they are permanent, you can't really pin things together like you can with fabric. The solution to that are these awesome wonder clips. They hold everything together really well and leave no permanent marks. Now because leather can be a lot more sticky than fabric and fight you a little bit more, you may find you need to change out the foot. I've seen people online recommend using a roller foot or a Teflon foot or like a little stepper foot, but I am way too cheap for that. So the easy alternative I read about was getting some Scotch magic tape and sticking it onto the bottom of the foot. This is gonna help reduce the friction and make the material go through a lot more smoothly. Just make sure you cut away the tape in the middle here where the needle actually feeds through. Okay, so just a few more tips here to get you started. When stitching with leather in one of these machines, it helps to use the longest stitch length that your machine offers. This is gonna pierce less holes and just make sure everything comes out a lot more clean looking. Now you may find you need to hold onto the thread for a few stitches just so it doesn't get sucked up into the machine. After that, take it relatively slowly. Remember, you only have one shot at this, those holes are permanent, and also your machine's not made for something this thick, so you wanna give it time to actually be able to make the movements it needs. Finally, when you're done, you don't backstitch like you would with normal fabric. Instead, just tie off the loose ends of the thread, snip them short, and melt them like you normally would when hand stitching. Now, I didn't run into any issues doing this with my machine. In fact, it worked really well. But my friend over at Corso Workshop says that it could mess with the timing a little bit of your machine. So just be careful. Also, you wanna stick with relatively thin leather. The absolute thickest mine was able to handle was about three millimeters or six ounces total which is honestly still really good and way more than I expected. And there you have it. You now know how to use your home sewing machine to make some epic leather projects like this mage hood, a project which I am super excited to show you on this Thursday's long episode. So make sure you tune back in for that. Until then, don't forget to hit me up that like it love and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. All right, I'll see you next time. But until then, keep leveling up, you.